Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Dr. Labby, and I'm a sports vision specialist for professional and amateur athletes, working to optimize visual function for maximal sports performance. Today we're going to look at three amazing plays from professional baseball and tennis. These plays all have in common one thing, responses that are only possible following an unconscious decision, simply reaction and success. We'll point out ways how this can up your game. The first clip comes from baseball. Here you see baseballs batted toward the middle infielders and each one makes a diving catch to make the out. Keeping in mind that the average exit velocity of a batted ball is about 89 to 90 miles an hour, there is no time for the fielder to consciously consider what he is seeing and think about what to do. He must react immediately and begin a movement to intercept the target. The second clip is from professional tennis. Here, Andy Murray receives a serve and after several volleys back and forth, returns a well-hit ball for a point. Considering that the average ground stroke speed is about 83 miles an hour and the distance between these two players was about 50 feet, Murray had no time to consciously consider the shot before reacting and returning it for the point. He had to rely on his visual system primed to receive information, make a decision, and initiate a guided motor action in an instant. How are these and many other athletes able to perform these amazing plays? Don't we all have the same anatomy? Well, a great deal of research has been done in this area, and there is pretty good understanding of how vision works in general and how these athletes can use their eyes so efficiently. It all comes down to something called intuition. We have all heard of intuition, but what exactly is it? Intuition is defined as the capacity to know something without knowing how you know it. That's nice, but how do we get something that we don't know, that we don't know we have? Fortunately, that question was answered by Nobel Prize winning scientist Daniel Kahneman. Kahneman realized that to obtain intuition and to make it useful, you need a good deal of experience in a task, a lot of repeatable and inconsistent situational experience in which you get immediate feedback. There are two components to intuition, chunking and heuristics. Chunking describes the expert athlete's ability to depend on a structure of stored experiences to make a rapid decision, while less experienced athletes will take some time, relatively speaking, to analyze or process visual information. And experienced athletes will be able to anticipate possible outcomes and thus make a more rapid and more likely correct decision of action without consciously analyzing anything at all. Heuristics are mental procedures designed to find answers to difficult cues. We each have dozens of common heuristics as described by Kahneman and his colleague Tversky in the 1970s. These are essentially mental shortcuts that allow us to process information rapidly, in fact, intuitively. The amazing thing is that most athletes don't even know that they are using intuition, chunking, or heuristics. They just know that practice makes perfect. How can we use this knowledge to make us better? In addition to actual in-game practice, we can train our brain to make decisions faster based upon brief views of targets, essentially increasing our thinking speed. By performing a classification task where we have to decide if an object belongs in category A or category B, and performing that task as quickly as possible, we can train our brain using the concept of neuroplasticity to react unconsciously to vision as opposed to consciously considering in which group an object belongs. In this example, we have two categories, one on the right and one on the left of the screen. In the center of the screen is an object. How fast can you assign it to the correct group? This is only one of many such tasks which an athlete can add to their training. To learn more of what you can do to perform better, see the video here. And don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to this channel to be the first to know when we add new tips to help you become the best athlete possible.